many of you may know that uh, some of us, Swaminathan, myself and several other people had sometime around 1999 or 2000 started this um, concept that internet can help and transform rural India. Uh, in fact, the CSC, Internet Service Centers, kiosks, all that got established came out of that effort. It still continues. Count that I did, could get, about 95% of the villages have had mobile coverage. Now, the more exact number, can somebody tell us? And I'm not getting into the uh, details of that. What I'm going to talk about is that therefore last three years or so, many of us as the mobile started getting into the rural India, saying what can be done in rural India with that. Uh, now, of course, not it, mobiles will not supplement com computers and laptops and things like that, but there are a number of things that can be done. And we learned a lot of lessons. We believe that mobiles are, in that sense, tool for development and inclusion. It's a tool for frugal engineering and a real-time distance bridge for data collection. We also found that mobiles are far more inclusive than even computers were because irrespective of where we went, whichever village we went, we could at least, people could actually talk on phone in their local language, in their local dialect. They may not be literate. They may be literate, somewhat literate. They still may not be find it very comfortable to read and write. Even if they can do a little bit of reading and writing, reading and writing on computer is something quite different. But when it came to talking on mobile phone, it was very easy. It was something that they would know, they would know how to dial, they will pick that up, and almost everybody could use that. So we started doing a number of things, and I'm, not, I'm going to just present a few things that we have tried to do with mobiles, more as an initiative of trying to figure out what can be done. I won't say that we have yet scaled it up, we have not even systematically analyzed it, we have spread ourselves, trying to try out different things. And the enterprises associated, organizations associated with IIT Madras, the Telecom Center for Excellence, Rural Technology and Business Incubators, and a large number of companies that we have incubated in this space started working together. Fairly quickly, almost two years back, there was a small product that we developed called Mind, Mobile Interface to Enterprise Database. It's a very simple product. The important thing is that this enabled a software to be downloaded on a 1500 rupees mobile. So it has to be an inexpensive mobile, not a sophisticated mobile, a software to be downloaded and then this software enabled one to communicate with the database at some place and in real time either using GPRS and more recently, we have done it using SMSs. So even if the, and therefore, the data can be pulled, pushed. This was, of course, the text-based thing. And we have actually found it extremely useful for rural healthcare, for census, agriculture, education, sales and ordering, microfinance. And I'm going to talk about some of our experience. First, believe it or not, today, a large number of people in fact, send their resume for jobs on mobile. Now, this is done on mobile, in fact, on a call, in vernacular language. Huh? The comp this, of course, requires voice, and this is done entirely on voice. This is being done certainly in a district. No, we, the advertisement is done that if you want jobs of this, this kind, please give your initial resume on mobile phone person just calls up and talks to the computer. Now the computer basically 
does not allow the person to talk anything will start asking you questions your name your age your date of birth your school call what did you do college what you did do if you did any college at all what are your skills it asks you number of questions and a person answers in their own language and a initial cv is created including the address the phone number and things like that this initial cv is then used for sorting out and so immediately what happens we have found that at times in a particular area in a week's time 10000 such cvs are collected and then and a back end a system analyzes this and say well this is for this particular job i need certain size kind of people and out of this 10000 people 1500 or 2000 will possibly qualify then this 2000 people are actually interviewed on phone this is the first level interview they are interviewed on phone could be very simple jobs they are interviewed on phone they are told because the phone number is given this is one of the requirement and they are interviewed on phone and then out of the 1500 maybe 700 or 800 are then shortlisted and then they are asked to submit a full cv at maybe a particular place or appear for a interview and then they are taken up for training and jobs very simple thing something that we introduced and wherever in fact recently we went to gujarat in one of the district and we thought that is a new type new thing that we are doing we had actually just around introduced gujarati and we are not very clear and even there we got in about 10000 such uh, um, um uh, such a series in about 4 to 5 days once you spread the word around and something very simple that people could reach there was a totally different application that we did and this is now used being used uh, daily reports from the field by a large number of small organizations uh what is happening number of people are selling their sales people their um their people for maintenance into the rural areas and what we have done is that their uh, their uh, phone has this software downloaded and now you can actually enter all the information of all the services and sales immediately and instantly it get synchronized including it as a gui interface it can tell you you can just click